Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors into nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. Just found a great rock pool. Should be some really good stuff here, I reckon and it looks like a good area. We'll just have to roll a few rocks and yeah, let's get into it. See what we can find. Should be some interesting creatures through here. Oh wow, check this out. These are really beautiful. This is what they call a nudibranch. It's a type of mollusk that lives in the ocean. Beautiful little creature. And it's starting to move slowly on my hand, but they're also called a Spanish dancer because as they move, they use their body just to move about looking for different types of algae and seaweed. Beautiful design, the colours on it are magnificent. If you haven't seen one in a rock pool, you'll sometimes find them in an aquarium. There's lots of different types of species. This is a fairly small one, but she's just starting to get on the move now. Beautiful. Oh, beauty. Here we go. Something I wanted to show you. A lovely little creature. This is one of our sea stars. As you can see, it's got a few little arms here, but a bit shorter than the rest. That just means that it's lost a few arms in its life, and it's had to regrow them. It's regenerated them. OK, if we roll this little guy over, check out underneath. You've got all these beautiful little tube feet running up and down the arms of this sea star. That's what it uses to gather its food. It brings the food into the middle of its body here, which is its stomach and mouth, and that stomach comes out, actually, through its mouth, and it sucks its food in. Magnificent. Not venomous, quite safe to pick up and touch, but just don't take them home. If you're going to find them, collect them, put them back, and just enjoy them. Wow, this is what we've been looking for. Another species. This is what's called a brittle star. As you can see, people would confuse that for an octopus's arm. The brittle star also feeds on the algae and the bits of weed along here, maybe bits of debris that it might find on the bottom in a rock pool as well. This one's not found a lot of local beaches. It's more down here on these ocean beaches on the Mornington Peninsula. Really stunning. I'll just roll her over gently. Here we go. There's the underside. And I'll place her back on the water and we'll just see what happens. You to be extremely careful with these ones. She's going to roll over. There she goes. Excellent. That's what we wanted to find. 